Yum. And we got salmon flavor today. Ooh, I know you like salmon. You love salmon. Yes? If you want it, it's out here, baby. Good mama.
everybody wants to say hi to the kittens. I'm gonna put your food over here, okay? I know you like to go in and out. Good morning. Hi, sweetheart. Was that num nums? Was that num nums? I know. Num nums. Oh, thank you for all the upvotes. Uh, thank you for all the awards. Francis, look at that. How many babies? Four babies. <clears throat> all right, so let me, because there's a lot of people that often come in and don't know the story, so I'll just tell it really fast every broadcast, okay? Francis, uh, was a stray cat that started coming in a hole in our fence in our backyard about five months ago. Um, and we, we would feed her and just like, we would broadcast it on Reddit. And, um, and she wouldn't let us touch her at first for like three months. We just fed her and she would come around for breakfast and dinner, but dinner she would get scared off because of possums and raccoons and stuff. So we knew we were kind of like racing the clock, but we wanted to try to build the trust to get her inside. Uh, and if you go to our older broadcasts on my profile here on Reddit, you'll see uh, when she was an outdoor cat and how she would run away and how we had to slowly work on getting her inside the kitchen. So um, uh, on Wednesday, last Wednesday, this past Wednesday, she showed up for, for uh, breakfast. Was it breakfast or dinner? Trish, was it breakfast or dinner she showed up for with the blood? She had blood on her ear. Her, if you see her ear, like, hold on. See that on her ear? There you go. Mom, well, it's healing well. Um, that was all bloody, and so I said, we got to bring her in. So we lured her in with salmon. Salmon's her favorite. We got her into the kitchen. We shut the door. She ran around. She freaked out. She eventually made her way down to the studio. Uh, it was our plan all along to get her up here into this room, but... We had to wait a couple days. So Friday, she went into labor. So we brought her in Wednesday, and Friday, she went into labor. She, we had the whole birth. It was seven hours long on Reddit. Unfortunately, we just found out yesterday that only 5.5 hours is saved of any live stream here on Reddit on our pan. So unfortunately, you'll see uh, you'll see number four and number five. Unfortunately, it was stillborn, but you'll see number four born. We named him Snoo. We named number four Snoo. Um, and, uh, anyway, she was just a stray recently, and, uh, and now Reddit has fallen in love with her, and, uh, and we're here every day for the next eight weeks while she nurses, uh, sharing her story with you guys, and, and thank you for everything, appreciate y'all, but I've fallen in love with her, my girlfriend's fallen in love with her, so we're gonna keep her, we've decided to add her to our family, and keep one of the babies, we think we're keeping Snoo number four, because Snoo's birth was every, but so anybody that was here for the live broadcast, in the chat, who was here for the live broadcast to see the first three born? Because that was wild. We pulled out the, we pulled out number four and the umbilical cord was still attached and uh, to, and, and, and I pulled out the, the cord and it was attached to her placenta and then she severed it with her teeth like she she bit it off and then she ate the placenta and she i mean it was crazy we're trying to adopt out the rest two people on our block that we know mama mama but our bond keeps growing and it's amazing i love her she trusts me so much now by the way, the first picture I have of Francis on my phone is April 25th. Wow, really? So Trish just said, Trish on rope in, in the chat, that's my girlfriend. The first picture I have of Francis on my phone is April 25th. So that was how long she was, and we just got her inside on Wednesday. Mama, I'm so proud of you.
Oh guys, for anybody that hasn't seen yet, sorry, let me give you a tour of the, this is her new nursery. Um, I'll unplug this, oh goodness. Um, I'm over here texting my friend Rob about this. <laughs> He's watching. Uh, all right, so this is her, my girlfriend also put this up. Look, she put this gate up to stop. <laughs> like there's an extra layer of protection. Anyway, here's the nursery. So y'all recommended too that we, um, cause when she, we first came in, she ran and hit under there, but we made this little thing cause you guys recommended we recreate something that was like down in the studio where her to go under. So we made that thing. I put two things and the, that on top. Um, and we got a little cat, uh, cat sound system. We got the iPad and then it's synced up to the Amazon device. I'm not gonna say it so it doesn't trigger. Um, we got the blanket and the thing and toys and catnip ball and a cat tree and she, oh her her litter is over here she's using i just scooped it she's got a little litter litter trash can poopies we're good hi mama and she's got her food and her water experience and no baby gates don't oh my uh trish is gonna put uh, like uh plexiglass or something over the actual front so nothing can actually get through those little those little cracks in the thing how old are they they were born on friday their eyes aren't even open yet she got you in line real fast let me get to some of these comments guys hold up how does she know how to use the litter when she, trust me i don't know we just put the litter downstairs in the studio. But my girlfriend just said that her first bit in April, April 25th, or April, what was it? The first photo we have of her that my girlfriend has on her phone was from April 25th or April something. The camera's a bit out of focus. Okay, I'm sorry. Mama. Jill is watching. She likes the gray one. I'm trying to adopt one out. All right, you like the gray one, Jill? <laughs> We're trying to really keep all the kittens on the block. I think we've convinced one, one to go to our friend Jonas across the street, and then one, um, one hopefully, maybe Jill. Maybe Jill will take one. She's two doors down. She likes the the gray one. But everybody, this gray one. will start to open their eyes on Thursday. Mm -hmm. 
the mom is gorgeous. Mom is gorgeous. Right, mama? Gosh, she would not let us touch her not too long ago. They were born on Friday. Live on Reddit. <laughs> is it your cat? It is now. I can kiss her now, actually. Wild. Like, I can actually kiss her and stuff. I boop her nose with my nose, and I, um, I touch her belly, and, oh, yeah, mama, yes. She eats baby's poopies, yes, that's a thing, I didn't even know that. Dog lover just passing by. What's up, Chloe? No, she loves it, trust me. She loves it. Mama. You're such a good mama. Good morning. There's four of them. Cats like sand and boxes with dirt. They just know. Also, she may have had a home before and learned it as a kitten. Yeah, we don't know. I, in the beginning, when I called, I called her a stray all the time, and then people started saying feral, and I honestly thought that meant the same thing. That's on me. <laughs> but like, so I didn't, I don't know the true definition of feral, but I know that she was a stray, and my girlfriend just said that the first photo that we have of her outside when we first met her outside was April 25th or April something and she we just got her inside on Wednesday it took us that that long to get her to the point where we could she would trust us and I mean and then she gave birth on Friday we'll talk about just the nick of time and I swear the moment she let her guard down to come out from under the the desk um She's, we were on a live just doing breakfast with her. Who was here for that? Who was here for when we were live for breakfast when she was just pregnant, right? On like day two of her being un un under the desk, right? When we just had towels down and stuff. And then she started making that noise like, right? And we were like, oh my God, I think she's going into labor. And we ended the broadcast and came back. And that right then she immediately started giving birth on air. It was amazing. Like we all knew, everybody knew. It was like, this is time, this is it. We restarted just to start over the broadcast. I think she just needed a safe place to... Is she sure they are her kids? <laughs> I just saw kitties on my dash and I almost cracked my neck trying to check. <laughs> Thank you for all the upvotes. Thank you for all the... She's 
She's not a cat, she's a cow with whiskers and she's being milked by her kittens. <laughs> Good morning, Dry Historian. Sorry, I'm going all the way down here. These comments, I'm, I, feel, I got a little lost. Um, if you said something in the chat and I didn't see it or respond to it, just say it again. I apologize. I, I, we were talking there for a while and I lost like uh, most, I'm not, I would have to go way down to start back up and then I'd lose everything in the beginning and it would be like vicious cycle. So just say it again if you want to say something. I'll try to read all the comments down. Why did this cat want children? What about her career? <laughs> Mom is Canadian. She has a fuzzy warm milk bag right now. I was there. I was here for all the births. I know, Foxy Lady. That's why one of the kittens is named Foxy. And you are always appreciated. Uh, what's the time between one kitten coming out and another? The first three came out pretty quickly, and then it was like an hour and a half before number four, Snoo. Where's Snoo? Which one's Snoo? Oh, thank you for the perfect. So, we're... So if you, if you don't follow us, uh, you can go back and watch um, uh, when she was outside, watch uh, in the middle of her birth, um, uh, uh, and you can watch um, everything from the time we got her inside and everything, and before that. Um, also, if you hit follow, or you follow us or whatever, this account, um, uh, we're gonna be, we, po we post photos and updates and videos, and we go live every day with them. We do breakfast and dinner, and then whatever adorable things in between, but Kittens aren't even, they don't even have their eyes open yet. They were just born on Friday and um, I can't wait to like watch them grow and, and, and get personalities and all that stuff. These comments are so funny. Don't worry about the downvotes. We always get downvotes. I don't care. They don't bother me. You can't... You can't please everybody all the time. needs to write excuse notes to our bosses and teachers. <laughs> when the icon for the live stream on my screen, I thought these were monkeys. <laughs> Snoo is near her back end. Okay, Snoo's back. Oh, yeah. Dad, she, dad cat should get a DNA test. There's one near her back leg. I had a cat who delivered two kittens and then two days later delivered two more. What? They can do that though, I had that. Francis is so content. Oh, so content, I think, sorry, so content, yes. I would love to have a cat, but I'm living in the city right now and I don't have a trap. I don't want to trap cat in the house her whole life. The kittens are going to, into a milk coma. She had five kittens. Number five was stillborn and she has four healthy kittens. We named them. They are named Snoo. Y'all y'all named uh, number four Snoo. Is that Snoo? Back there? Wait, that might be Snoo. <laughs> uh, y'all named Snoo, which is the mascot of Reddit. I didn't know that. The little Snoo, the face, that's Snoo. I learned that on 
But uh, one, number four is named Snoo. Number three is named Donda. That's the gray one. Because we camped out down in the studio waiting for this album to drop. Right, Mama? Uh, Daddy's not funny, I know. <laughs> uh, number two is Epona, after Epona Mom, one of the mods here on Animals of Reddit. Uh, and she's been incredibly helpful the whole way uh, and so kind and everything to help us out. Um, and Foxy, after Foxy Lady, uh, who was probably the, every day she'd DM us and be like, how is Francis, how is Francis, how? when she was outside still, when she was outside kitten. And we couldn't get her inside. Oh, hi guys. Where y'all going though? Where y'all going though? doing everything she's doing great she's eating she's pooping and peeing and she's taking care of her uh the song for anybody that does so this is uh desensitizing sound healing music for cats to comfort your aggression cat pet therapy sound effects it's on youtube <laughs> if you guys want the link for any of these you can just dm me i'll send them over Mommy, you're such a natural. You're so good. If everyone in the world could experience the level of chill this mom, the chill of this mom for five minutes, the world would be an objectively better place. Amen. Oh, thank you for the heartwarming. You know, a lot of people pay a lot to get into milk bars. These kitties are privileged. <laughs> Thank you for the all seeing of a Epona mom. I think it's, I think that's Epona who's constantly eating. They all actually, oh my God. All right, guys, they're spread out this time. This is adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> Epona, hi. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have pancakes for breakfast one of these days? <laughs> Snoo has white feet. No, we're gonna we night eye night or whatever night. Sorry, is that the name? Um, we're we're keeping it uh, Donda. Uh, we decided that Jax has his own story and it should be remembered, and we don't want to shadow his memory and his the part of his story with renaming of the. Uh, yeah, we, we're just going to keep it Donda for now. Um, chances are somebody's going to rename these cats when they adopt them, but I don't know. And they have the right to do that if they, you know. But I'm talking to my one neighbor right now, two doors down, and the other neighbor across the street, and both of them are, like, loving them, and I'm hopefully I'll be able to adopt them out and keep them on the block. So we're going to keep Mama, and we're going to keep one of the kittens. Let's keep Mama. Mama and one of the kittens, and we're gonna adopt the other two out. Oh wait, the other three out. The other three, three. We'll have a, a we'll have a cooking show called Snacking with Snoo. Came with that last night, yeah. I hope Francis has found more peace and increased safety. No more stress. She's a completely different cat. She's going to have a good life now, I promise. I will see to it. Don't ever stop this feed. Well, we're here every day. You... 
I'm making my cat watch with me. People say that so much. Oh, mom. She's so happy she doesn't have to fight off raccoons. And that is the best feeling in the world, to know that she's just not scared anymore, um, that, she's, that she feels safe, that she feels safe to be with her kittens, that she doesn't have to... It's like the best feeling in the world. doesn't have to watch out for cars or mean people or cat fights or anything ever again. No, no you don't, Mama. This is what the internet was made for. <laughs> My day is greatly improved. Yo, guys, these comments. hear her? She is super purring right now. Mama. I wonder if another cat will take over the cat condo. It's there. It's there for the taking. Mama. Your ear is healing. That's nice. Let me see your ear. Hold on. Come here. Let me see your ear. Look at this. Yes, it's healing. That's good. Oh. 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 There we go, Mama.
No. No. Um, Jackson doesn't come around anymore. And honestly, I think she didn't like Jackson. I think Jackson followed her around. And Trish and I are afraid that maybe Jackson... Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, hi. That maybe Jackson had something to do with why the other kittens aren't around. Her first litter that she disappeared for... When she first... She disappeared for weeks. When we first met her... She, we fed her and then she got, she was pregnant and she disappeared for weeks. She came back, she wasn't pregnant and then she was pregnant again. So what me and Trish think is unfortunately maybe like she got scared off and had to abandon the kittens or something. Thank you for all the upvotes, thank you for all the awards, thank you for all the follows. Uh, if you want to follow along with updates that my girlfriend's doing on the, on, uh, the GoFundMe, uh, the link is in my bio. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys pretty much covered all the vet bills for her and, and the babies and everything, and we appreciate that so much. Uh, anything left over, we're donating 100% to uh, a local shelter, and we will provide receipts all along the way. So y'all don't think we're <laughs> making this shit up for money. But we'll cover everything anyway. But the help is appreciated. We, we do thank you guys for that. Mama! begging no see that's that's that is what I am afraid of people thinking so that's why I don't say anything about it her ear she got a I don't know she showed up with blood on her that's why we brought her inside Oliver no <clears throat> she hasn't met Oliver yet and we wanna she is tiny yes we need to get, um, we're going to get her, we're going to get a mobile vet to come out to the house and do all of her vaccinations. And, you know, if she has worms or anything like that, I, I don't think she has anything. Like, we really just, she seems super healthy. Mama, don't you worry about Oliver.
Mama. You may need to close up the hole in the fence to avoid runaway kittens. Well, she won't be anywhere. But we've been, we're mindful about what we're gonna have to do about like, but if she wants to run outside again, uh, what if she's comfortable with that, or if we can just make her see that out there is more being afraid of things and more running from things, and that in here she's got a good life. And like our cat Oliver, Oliver, it wait, I wonder if Oliver's right outside the door. Hold on. If Oliver, Oliver never tries to run. He's so content. Bub, no. No, you gotta chill, okay? No, you gotta chill. I need you to chill. No, okay? I know. I know. No, bub. Go downstairs, okay? I love you. Mama. Hi. Another fight before that because this one's scab, but like this one was the one with my baby. Yeah, Oliver's a tabby. Hi, sweetheart. I love you. Oh, oh, that's on the playlist. Mama, I'm sorry. Those are sound effects with... Sorry. She went... Did you see that? There was sound effects of kittens me meowing on the, pl on, the, on, the, on the thing. On her music thing. And she went back. She went back thinking it was her kittens. She's so good, Mama. It was just a... Guest appearance by Oliver since the day she went into labor. I need a cat door like that. Oh, Wilson? CJ, your, your ginger's name is Wilson? Oh, but this is... Because even though I'm scared of animals, my heart aches whenever they were in pain. Makes me, oh. This one is well cared for. Yeah, she's making biscuits too. I'll do, a bro I'll do a broadcast with Oliver and Olivia. No, he gets so much love. We were spending so much time with him earlier and, and he sleeps with me. Oliver sleeps right next to me and like ne I sleep with my hand on him. He's fine, don't worry. Oliver's always with me. Good morning. Good hey, what's up pumpkin? Good to see you. My, it's my first time watching the live here. Thank you for telling me this. She's really lucky for having such a... Aw, thank you. Y'all sweet. Oh. Hi. The biscuits. The fact you apologized to her for the sound is just... <laughs> we talked to our... We talked to all of our fur babies like they're humans. They are. They are not possessions. They are not... Um, they, they are... <sighs> it's the most beautiful game in the world to have communication with something that you can never truly have communication with. Do you know what I mean? You never really know if they understand what you're saying. And maybe it's the same way the other way around, but... Mama. I love you. No, no, he's just meowing. Oliver's honestly just meowing because he wants me. He's not even, like, if I come out, he'll just cling to me. He won't stay up here. He won't be up here. Um, and that's why I opened the door, and I had words with him, and now he stopped. <laughs> Dog don't like it. We're good. Mama. You're so good, Mama.
she's been coming around with her ear messed up, uh, like scabbed for a while. Um, I just thought it was like wherever she was squeezing into, maybe like she would scrape her ear because it was, but the way that she showed up when she had blood all over, like I thought she had gotten into, but if you look like she's got scabbing, like it's been a, I, I genuinely think she's okay. Um, if there's at any point that we feel like she needs a mobile vet before the eight weeks, we're going to do it. But she's been increasingly content and her appetite is great. She's going to the bathroom normally, no blood in her stool, nothing like that. She's not lethargic. She's caring for her babies, super affectionate. Like I, I feel really good about what we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, but we will do what we need to do as we need to do it. And with your recommendations, if everybody like really says that we should do something, I am absolutely about the feedback and I couldn't, like we genuinely could not have done this and, and I don't think it would have turned as out as well without y'all. So I'm all about the feedback from the Reddit community and if, it's, if you guys know something you, you can share. She has no fleas, no fleas. Nope, never had fleas. I've been following this for quite a while. Who was here when she was an outdoor? Who was here when she was a stray outdoor cat that we would just feed for breakfast and dinner? My cats getting scraps with each other. Haven't had huge issues like stuff with cuts in the ears. Could be different risks with mama. Hold on. No, she doesn't have fleas. She really doesn't. There's a number of flea medications also good for treating ear mites. I think she like, cause, because her ears are totally fine since she's been inside, right? And it's they're healing very quickly and she has not had any other issues at all. I think it was something outside, either something she was squeezing into or something she was doing regularly that was causing, or she was getting into fight, I don't know. Here, let me show you. The ears are, are totally fine now. They've, they've just scabbed up over and they're totally... Mama, do you trust me? Here. Mama. There you go. There you go. See that? Just a little scab. And this. Hold up. Mama. Mama. There you go. There you go, Mama. It's okay. It's just scabbed like she got... Mama, it's okay. See that? It's a good girl. I got you. Don't worry. I was here when she was a stray. That's so cool. Has she slept already? Yeah, she slept all night. probably got into a little fight or is just you know scratched herself on the fence that's what I was thinking that's that hi mama oh she needs to get away from the kittens for a little bit looks like mites to me just keep an eye on it she'll be fine thank you thought kittens got their shots at six weeks what was the eight weeks oh we were told eight weeks if we can do it in six weeks we'll do it in six weeks we'll do it whenever we can do it My cat has seasonal allergies. She does that to her ears every spring and fall if we open the windows. All right, I'm just reading these comments. She's definitely okay with you. That's great. I love her. I love her. She's, she's my daughter now. Look at her. Mama, see, that's why I liked her having this little, that's why this setup is good, because I knew that she would, and I pulled it away from the wall on purpose so that she wasn't forced to come forward because the door is there, and if she was scared and she wanted to run and hide, she can go behind there. So she just, she came out, oh, hi, Mama. And she's getting playful, and she's coming through, like, little cracks and crevices and stuff. I love it. Mama. Hi. Hi. I love you. You're doing great. She surely has worms, though. If you don't want to have a vet now, take her stool to the vet for a stool check. Oh, we could do that? Would they just do it through her stool?
What kind of things can we check with just her stool? Cause I'll do that. Yeah, she was a stray. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly just get her poop on the next time. Cause I already scooped, well I scooped her poop, but I could probably get it out of the trash. We have a special trash can just for her poop. <laughs> you just wait till she has, she's doing very, very well. She seems more affectionate now. She is more affectionate now. Doubt she would let him do that yet. This is a very new relationship. Have you trimmed her claws recently? Oh, heck no. <laughs> I'm not going to... She just let me pick her up for the first time the other day, and worms, parasites. Um, worms and parasites, I think I checked that. Does your, girl, does your girl get jealous when you're on the phone? No, she's in the chat. <laughs> she has this up on her other computer right now while she's in meetings. Nope, can't get it out of the trash. All right, thank you, Epona. Need fresh poopies. It can get checked for worms or any other common type of parasite. You want it fresh. Ear mites will look like black, not brown, gunk inside her ears. It can be very itchy. She doesn't have anything inside her ears. Mama. Mama. She's super good. Her ears look great. Mama. I'm so proud of you. I meant your cat. Oh. Feeding time is great time to touch her and gain her trust. That looks like great space. Is this upstairs area you were talking about the other day? Yeah. Let me show you for anybody that just got here. We got her out of the studio downstairs finally. Oh my goodness. And we took your advice. We literally just wrapped her like a burrito in, in her bed with her babies. All once we walked her up right upstairs. Um, so... Um, and my girlfriend made this cat put this and she's gonna put plastic over it to stop um, kittens being able to slip through but that stuff's all over anybody from bothering her big room this is where uh, Trish uh, usually would do her handstands and aerial stuff she does all over Trish uh, my girlfriend is a handstand master in training and an aerialist she does like really cool stuff so this is her room but she has donated it to be a, a kitten nursery so lots of Open space, two big windows for light. Now, this is what I did. I put this, these two, I separated them, right? To recreate what we had downstairs. You guys said recreate uh, like an under the desk thing for her and that she would feel more comfortable. Um, so we did that and I, I hooked up the sound system. I got the iPad uh, with the kitten playlist uh, music going and uh, the Amazon device uh, with Bluetooth and it just... Um, it's got good bass for that kit, calming kit music. We got our food, catnip ball and toys. And uh, the one toy is Oliver's uh, and that's his old cat treat too. So we can familiarize her with his smell. You guys taught us that too. Um, and she's got lots of sun if she wants to get up here. She is straight chilling. Hi mama. Yes, my girlfriend is a handstand master in training. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll totally call and have them check. Check for parasites and FIP. All the other stuff they can get. Um, So this is her room and we'll have this for the next eight weeks or more, whatever, as long as it takes. Um, and we'll, we'll, she has, this is just hers and her kittens and they can have, um, and we'll, we'll probably put down like more blankets and stuff here or stuff so she can have like all this little cuddly space and whatever. And we'll, we'll get stuff for her to like, you know, play and run around. And... Mama, you're doing great. Which one's Snoo? Where is Snoo? This is Snoo. Oh, this is Snoo. It's okay, Mama. This is Snoo. 
This one's Snoo. This was number four. Come on. Oh, you're sitting on one. Mama. <laughs> you were sitting on that one, Mama. It was screaming. I have to go now, but I wish you and your girlfriend to be safe and for all the kitties to be safe and safe. Oh, thank you so much. We domesticated several strays and they all had worms, even though they appeared healthy. The grossest was when the worms would come out, protruding out from the butt when they'd vomit. The worms would stand up from it. So you don't want the kittens, I hear you. I'll, go, I will look, I'll definitely do that. We can, I'll, I'll call the vet today and see if we can get her poop brought in for testing and stuff. She was hoping that one would hatch already. Oh, thank you, Belle. You're very sweet. Is that four? Where is all of them? Everybody really likes the gray one, too. It's okay. Mama, those eyes. You're okay. There you go. Don't worry. It's okay, Mom. Also, um, I'm, I'm purposefully handling her and her kittens um, at a gradual consistency, right? To normalize them with my smell and my voice and everything and her with me handling them and strengthening the bond and, and the trust and all of that. I think it's very important. I think that everything that we've done up to this point is all about the conditioning and the trust and the love. So um, I'm not just doing it to be like, hey, Reddit, look at this kitten. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm long-term conditioning them. Did I just jump on Reddit at the right time? Or what? Cute. There's four, there's four of them. Being a parent is hard, right though? Shout out to all the moms. Shout out to all the single moms. doing all the right things, learning as you go, just like Francis. Oh. Just say you're grooming them <laughs> This is the best thing I've read ever. This is exactly what I need right now. just made my day. Your commitment to providing the most comfortable experience for her is so heartwarming. I love her. I just want her, her and her babies to have the best life ever. I can die knowing I did something good in this world. And there's a good chance that she just might be an angel. And this is all a test. And I'd like to pass. Some atopians. 
So many tiny tubbies. How do they know to drink the milk? I have no idea. How do baby turtles know to go to the ocean? I never understood that. She just knew what to do, they knew what to do. Conditioning them to be used to humans, specifically the presenter. That's how you get friendly adult cats. That's what we're going for. Are there fosters? I have two people on our block that we're friends with that I am currently trying to talk into taking one each. Uh, I think we have a good chance of adopting two of them out to our neighbors. Literally somebody that lives across the street and two doors down. Um, and we're gonna keep mama and one of them, so then we just have to adopt one more out. I'll talk a little softer here, right? She's giving you the slow blinks OP. I love her, I love her and her slow blinks. We're in Philadelphia. Mama, it's that stupid playlist again. Sorry about that. Stupid playlist has sound effects on it. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. Aren't these the little ones that were born on the live stream as well? They all seem to be doing so well. Yes, these are the these are the kittens that were born on Reddit Live on Friday. Mama, we're getting we're getting rid of this playlist. Fuck these birds. I'm over it. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. It's my bad. It's totally my bad, Mama. Mama, I don't even know. I didn't do that. I'm so sorry. Here we go.
mama. <laughs> play Donda. <laughs> Should I play the Donda album? <laughs> Get her normalized with Kanye? Do you guys hear that Donda, that Kanye on his Instagram, he was like, my record label dropped Donda without my permission uh, before it was ready or something. And he's like, and they left one song off that I wanted or something. And I'm like, I listened to it. I'm like, it sounds like a gospel album. No, no Kanye. Yesterday I played, I played her um, Justin Bieber and she was not having that shit. Maybe you can talk your neighbor who has already committed to one, take two. Then they would have playmates forever. Maybe. Yeah, the kitten's eyes and ears aren't even open yet, I don't think, so they can't hear or see anything. Look, I identify with Kanye. <laughs> I have my, I have my, uh, my manic moments as well, and like, I, I get where he like. I also think he's a genius. He's just a genius in like, weird ways, but like he's definitely a genius. <laughs> and we're all talking about him. Here we are on a cat stream talking about Kanye West. Kanye is a genius. He is one. He figured it out. We're all talking about him everywhere. No, I got the good music now. This is the music that she uh, gave birth to. What's the most important lesson you've learned in life? angels and that this is all a test. Kanye is America confused and sure he's the best when he's done. <laughs> we constantly learn and unlearn. It's true. That we do not judge our neighbors and ourselves. Oh. Oh my gosh, follow up. She looks a lot better than the last time I saw her through the labor, right? They're doing great. They're doing great. Be kind to strangers because they could be angels. That one, that one right there. Be kind to strangers because they could be angels. That's, be kind to every, every living thing because it, they could be an, it could be an angel. Help yourself before you help other people. There's a good one, I like that. Best of luck with all your kittens. I'm sure other people are enjoying them grow. It's true. I'm reading the comments, Space. Um, if you guys don't follow this account, uh, hit the follow button and uh, we will be live streaming every day, uh, breakfast and dinner and in between and sharing photos and videos of her and her progress, of her and her kittens 
and the adoption and the eight weeks and the whole taking care of them and getting them fixed up and everybody and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we, we're doing live streams uh, every day of these kittens growing up. Mama loves hearing his voice. I love, I love her. Be kind to people, even if they aren't angels. You should be kind regardless of whether it's testing you to be good. That's a very good point. Just be kind. Uh, one thing I love about animals is that they always, in flow of life, they don't care about mor morality. Oh, here's it. Here's what I learned. Here's what. Here's here's one of the great lessons that I've learned in life. Or I say this is one of my favorite sayings, and I say this on pretty much every stream. I might not always believe the opinion that a human has about an animal, but I will always believe the opinion that an animal has of a human. That's. <laughs> There he is. That's Snoo. That's Snoo. He's got the boots. Little white boots. I can't wait for them to open their eyes and to like develop personalities and like it's going to be loud in here. Oh, once they start meowing and stuff and like they start oh god, it's going to be insane. Yeah, we named them um Snoo. Snoo is the one with the boots. The gray one is Donda. Um because we slept in the studio while we were waiting for her to give birth. Um uh and then the other Epona uh, after Epona Mom, who's one of the mods here on our pen um, for Animals on Reddit, and uh, um, Foxy, after Foxy Lady, who's one of our biggest supporters here, who's been amazing. I don't trust people that don't like animals, right? Mom loves snuggles so much. song, Pet the Damn Cats. <laughs> the little bellies. The little bellies. <laughs> this one. Oh, mama. That one was... <laughs> That's the umbilical cord. That was when... Remember this, guys? Who saw this on the stream? The umbilical cord is still there because I yanked it out and it was still connected to her placenta and... She's still distressful of her environment. I respectfully disagree with you. How many 
many days ago? How many days since she gave birth? She gave birth on Friday. There you go, Mama. Put it down here. There you go. That's a good girl. No, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Where are y'all going? What are y'all doing? What's this? You guys like, are you guys friends? What are y'all doing? bigger bed soon like once they start <laughs> oh god you little one hello little one hello little one the boops boop snooty boop Mama. <laughs> Thank you for the wholesome word. Mama, it's just like so much fun to watch them. Dude. You need a break? You need a break from your kittens? Yeah, she goes back there to chill when she just wants a break from her kittens. Did the babies initially hiss at you? Wait. No, they've never hissed at me. They don't hiss, they just go Meow. It's like a, I don't know, what you call it? Mama. Snoot the boot. Mama, it's just me. It's just me handling the babies, don't worry. Mommy, want some more food? Boop the snoot. I don't even. I don't even know what the saying is. Sorry. All hail the milk. <laughs> All hail the milk. It's okay, Mama. Mama, I just saw what I thought was something. Hold on. It's okay, Mama. I just thought I saw an ant or something crawling. Hold on, Mama. I'm just making sure it's just an ant or something. It's not anything else. It's okay. I got your baby. You're fine. I just saw an ant. I think it was just an ant. You're okay. It's okay.
I just checked out one of the vids with Francis still pregnant. What a journey. Best still to come. Snoot the boot. Hopefully it's not a flea. That's what I was saying. I was making, well, that's why I checked it. It wasn't a flea. I think it was just an ant. Because there's nothing else and there was no, no fleas. We will not have fleas. She doesn't have fleas though. Like she definitely doesn't, she doesn't have fleas and, well that's why, that's what I was saying, you never just have one flea. That's why I picked up Snoo and checked and it looked like just, there was just an ant running by I saw. It was one thing I saw, I specifically saw one thing and, and, and it looked like something moving, not fleeing, you know what I mean? Fleas hop, never just one, like Pringles. discovered my cat likes yogurt some time ago. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Occasionally a treat. Hey, sing this song. Great to see everything is going well. Oh, thanks, Cloggish. Hey, Cloggish, good to see you. Baby's back to the milk bar. Snoot the boop. Boop, boop the snoot. Boop, boop the snoot, right? Is that what you say? Boot the snoot. Gotta go. See you babies for dinner and cuddles. Oh, see ya. Thanks, Knight. How long has Francis been hanging out around your house before you took her in? Um, like five months. My girlfriend said that the first photo that she has on her phone of Francis was from like April 25th or April something. So since April. May, June, July, August, September. Four months, five months, four months, five months, something like that. I used to never keep my live streams though. Like we did cooking sh uh, live streams and short streams on the short and I would delete everything. I just never kept live streams because I was used to streaming on platforms where you just streamed and there was no recordings afterwards and I would just delete everything. Um, Cause I was just trying to put up like viral videos on this uh, for different subreddits. Um, but then this happened and we ran with it. So Momo. But she's ours now. She's part of our family. The fact that she lets me handle her like this now is amazing. Mama. I love you. You're so good. Snoop the boop. Boop, boop the snoop. All right, all. Whoops. Francis, I think I'm going to. Has she always been so friendly with you and trusting with you? Nope. <laughs> no, no, she's, she's messed me up a few times and a tiny little scar on the palm of my hand from her. And she, it took us like three months to be able to pet her before she would even let us touch her. And uh, just started with uh, head pats and then chin scratches. And But now she lets me pick her up and kiss her and uh, handle her babies and all that stuff. So the bond has, uh, the bond has definitely grown like so much, so much. Especially just since, uh, since Wednesday. Mama, it's all about patience and consistency. Mama. Mama, 
boop, boot the snoop. We'll be back to check on for dinner time. Sending pets and kisses to Francis and the kittens. With consent. <laughs> Agreeable fuck. Thanks. We'll see it. The bond will keep growing too. I hope so. I hope so. guys i think i'm gonna let them get some more space and rest and time and all that stuff let francis get more normalized i'm gonna check out the i'm gonna call my vet and see if we can bring over a poop sample for them to check out for parasites and worms and stuff like that whatever all right um if you don't already follow hit follow and we'll be back for dinner or if anything else interesting happens before but we'll post like updates and stuff and thank you so much for everything uh the link is in our bio if you want to follow along with um the updates uh Trish is going to do some updates. Hey, OP, how's Oliver taking all this? Very well. Very well. Very well. He's being great. And um, we're working on conditioning him too. And uh, making one big family and all that good stuff. And we will um, we'll do some broadcasts with Oliver and Olivia, our dog, too. Cool. Mama. Thanks again for everything, guys. Bye, Mama.